Hi folks, I'm Scott James with Blue Water Yacht Sales. We're on a 2021 42 Boston Whaler Outrage. This boat is loaded with wow factor and we're going to talk about a couple of features that this particular boat has. We're powered by Quad 450R Mercuries. There's about 300 hours on these motors. The 300 hour service has been done. All right, we're looking at a couple things here in the cockpit. Nice deep cockpit. Uh, Coming pads all the way around. You'll see transom door with a swim ladder. You do not have to have anyone in the boat to deploy that ladder. It's a nice safety feature. Storage under both gunnels. We've got fish boxes in the floor here. We've got fish boxes in the floor forward. Folding stern seat right here. Retractable cockpit shade up above. Port side dive door. Really neat. There's a ladder that clips in here. Folds over, it's great for diving, great for a day at the sandbar. You've got a nifty little folding handrail right there. Two rows of seating. Come forward, let's take a look. So this row, you sit nice and high. You've got air conditioning vents. There's six of them across right there, and there's two of them at the helm. There's a 48,000 BTU HVAC unit just for this space. Convenient PFD storage up above. And then I'm moving forward. So now I'm at the helm. Triple wide helm seat. The center one is electric. It'll slide up and back. And folding bolsters and folding armrests. Okay. So I'm standing on a nice little uh, folding step. And what this, it's got C deck on top. This step is really nice for somebody my size. I'm about 5'10. Um, a taller captain's going to want that step folded in the up position. But a lot of headroom here. We've got an electric sunroof. So those two, um, those two seats have that step. This port side seat has its own individual folding step. So we're at the helm. Triple Raymarine Axiom screens. Very, very nice color. Excellent detail. You can see that we've got, um, we've got a, a panel up here that shows what lights are on. That's a um, Digital switching panel. Again, we have air, conditionings, um, air conditioning outlets here. This boat does have joystick docking, remote spotlight. We've also got, we've got a FLIR camera and a Seakeeper 6. The Seakeeper screen is right here. Um, 115 sea hours on the Seakeeper. Excellent, excellent option in this particular boat. So again, with our, our quad 450 Mercuries, we're going to get a top speed in the low 60s. Cruise speed all day long, 45 miles an hour. Very comfortable. Again, heated and cooled at this space. You will see that we've got curtain panels to, to enclose this area here. So on the right day, you can put those curtains up. And again, you have heat or you have air here in this space. All right, so cabin right here. We'll go there in a minute. We're going to go forward and let's take a look at what we've got in the bow of the boat. Okay, so we're working our way towards the bow of the boat. We've got storage, literally storage everywhere. Two port side storage compartments right here. Same on the starboard side. Um, speakers everywhere, subwoofer. Um, this boat has a really nice fusion uh, stereo, amplifier. Take a look at the forward seating. We've got three nice lounge style seats, folding cup holders and armrests. There is also a manual forward shade that gives you shade up here when you want it in this, this whole space. All right, so kind of back to the storage theme. We've got a nice little rope locker right here. Two index storage boxes. These are deep. These are perfect for fenders. Um, beats toys, stuff like that. Um, electric table, up, down, has a cover obviously that we have on right now. It also has a cushion, so you can put the table all the way down, put the cushion on it, you've got a big sun pad here. Um, flip up uh, backrest, so we'll put him down and we've got really, again, back to the storage theme, nice storage there. We've got LED blue LED under gunnel lights all the way around. It's just now getting dark enough you may see a little bit of that. 
And then going forward, anchor windlass with the remote right here. You also have uh, anchor controls at the helm. All right, let's turn around and we'll take a look at the flare camera, the LED spotlight, and that open array Raymarine HD radar antenna. You'll also notice that there are paddleboard racks on the hard top. That's another really nice option. Okay, so we're in the cabin. And when you get in this space, it's easy to forget that this really is a center console because look how big this cabin is. Nice, bright, airy skylight with a screen and with a shade. You've got ocean air blinds for our side windows here. We've got a full stand-up head with a rain-style shower head up above. Okay, electric toilet, sink, Corian countertop. Really roomy. Here's the galley. We've got storage. You got storage back here. Here's your sink, cutting board, microwave. Watch it disappear. Um, Jensen TV is also connected to our Fusion stereo. You see the Fusion logo kind of orbiting around there. All right, so we've got couple of things going on here. This is um, this table clips over great for having a snack. Um, really comfortable in terms of back angle, the height of our armrest here. Um, there's a there's a that cushion goes on the table that that backrest folds up and your feet go up in there. So there's a sleeping space for two right there. And then this sofa here on the port side pulls out and lays flat, and that makes a sleeper. You've got stereo speakers in here, and then here we have our AC and DC breaker. There's our uh, remote start and stop panel for the generator. The generator has 85.4 hours on it right now. There's our Fusion stereo head unit, and it is a DVD player that connects to that TV. Um, that concludes this space. We've got one more space to talk about. Okay, so we're in the, we're in the rear build here now. Got the hatch open. One thing to notice, here's your two cockpit tables. They're conveniently stored right here. Here's the pedestals. Here's the tables. These are teak. They're really nice. All right, so in here, you, first thing you notice, all your seacocks, are right here. Everything's easy to get to. The baskets are easy to get to. You can clean them. They're real grow co-strainers. All right, Fisher Panda diesel powered generator. That's right here. You've got a, um, a prime time air conditioning pump. That's for all the ACs. Again, we mentioned the one back here. We've got a really nice cabin AC also. So looking forward, we've got a freshwater manifold right there that we're gonna really wanna get a good picture of. Here's the Seakeeper 6. Here is, your, here is your hot water, and then we've got batteries and battery chargers over here, kind of working our way forward. So again, nicely laid out build space. You've got auto fire suppression in here, and look where it is. Look how big the hatch is. Access is easy. Okay, so we're back in the cockpit. I'm going to show you how easy this converts from um, second row seating to tackle center. So we're going to fold fold him down. We're going to fold him down. Now we're back here. Take a look at this. We've got cutting board, electric grill, live well right in the middle of all the action. And then freshwater bait sink here. You've got cup holders. This is an ice maker. This is your cockpit drink fridge. Really nice. All right, so again, um, 2021 Boston Whaler 420 Outrage. Not a center console. It's kind of a super console. 
big boat, a lot of features, great handling, but still look where we run the boat from right in the center of the action. 60 mile an hour top speed, 45 mile cruise, 45 mile an hour cruise all day long. Very comfortable for sale. You can reach me again. I'm Scott James at Blue Water, S James at BWYS.com, 757-570-3944. Thank you for your time.